going to be doing a RAM upgrade. Don't even look at this, these numbers and like go after them because every computer is different. Unless you've got the same motherboard as me. But this is the 2019 model of the M15 Alienware. I've had no problems with it, but I am using like six monitors now. I need to upgrade a little bit. I went on the website for them. They actually scan the computer and they give you a lot of false information. I have the 2600 megahertz. They say I can upgrade to the 32 megahertz, 3200 megahertz or whatever, but I looked at my processor and it can only handle 2600, 2666, whatever. So I went ahead and went with the 266 and I'm going to be upgrading the computer and then price selling it. I can get uh, the new one that's like 5200 megahertz, uh, also with the 16 gigabyte graphics. But we're gonna be putting these in today. This is the kit that upgrades my computer. So it takes a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws I am showing you. I currently have 16 gigabytes, but uh, I'm maxed out at four monitors. I can run six, but as soon as you launch a game or something, it's definitely limited. It starts uh, glitching a little bit. Plus, uh, I do a lot of video editing. I'm waiting to do them three bottom ones because they are special. They have a clip in them. done this once before you gotta make sure the voltage is right you're using so dim uh, non ECC I think it's called okay now when you pull these off you're gonna hear them click go out until they start clicking that's the click each one's gonna click that one's making a different type of clicking but same thing There's the click. Pull off from the back. Just pry it back a little bit. And it pops right off. If it doesn't, keep unscrewing these bottom screws. Now I'm going to unhook the battery. This computer's super nice because the RAM is on the top. I'm gonna wait just a little bit because I just unhooked that. In the meantime, you could be spraying some air in there, not too much, but to blow it out. I always have a rule, if you shine a light right in here and you can't see it through the fins on the side, it probably needs cleaned. I just cleaned mine because I just replaced the battery about a month ago. So that's probably been long enough. Gonna push them little tongs out right there. It pops right up. Gonna take the new ones. And I'm going to slide it. Actually, I'm going to pull the other one out. So I went with the full 32 gigabyte. There's my old ones. Them are Dell brand, I think, even. Make sure you get nice, good, and pushed in there. Slide it down. Make sure it doesn't wiggle any. This one's probably going to be facing the opposite way, so you won't see the sticker. There you go. They're all nice firm in there. There you go, that's the upgrade. Let's go ahead and put the power back on. Clips in there nice and firm, push my little label to the side. Now this actually clips on. Yeah, here it clipping a little bit, but don't go on all the way, you gotta Go to the left a little bit and then to the right. To the left and then to the right. Go into the left, winds it back up in the hole. And that worked. Then the rest just clips back in. I'll put all the screws in first. I guess I should have showed you guys that it was 
only a 16 gigabyte before. That way when it turns on, if it don't blow up, because I have fried a motherboard doing this once. I put the wrong frequency in it. may do a beep code when it first starts to inform you that it updated. I don't really know what it'll do. This was 8 gigabyte when I bought it, so I did upgrade it once. And then I decided to wait for the price to come down. Okay, let's see if it blows up or not. And it kicked on. If you look at that, the amount of system memory has changed. If you did not change the memory, try to resolve this issue. Continue. Putting the old ones back in the little pack. Gonna wait for this to load up to it's taking a little bit longer to load, but it's it's figuring itself out right now. Let's go to the systems and oh, the energy system. And see if it says 60 32 right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there, 32 gigabytes, 31.8 is usable, which is great. It did it. Let's go ahead and restart it. Make sure that it just wasn't a one start kind of setup. Make sure it doesn't keep giving us an error saying, hey, it upgraded. That was a voice mod. That's my voice mod if you guys watch my channel. That was just an error because it didn't connect to Wi-Fi to launch voice mod. There we go, it didn't load any issues. Let's go make sure it still says it's 32 gigabyte. But let's see it in a different area. Let's go under task manager. Task manager should tell you everything. Task manager, it says right there 32 gigabytes, 31.8 available. And while it's sitting here, it's only using four gigabytes of that. Which is great, it shows the right speed, how many slots I'm using. It all turned out perfect. So that's how you upgrade your RAM on here. Um, I will go ahead and show you what I got, but please do not put this in your computer unless you know it fits. You have to check your processor, everything. Make sure your processor can handle whatever. This is actually the cheapest one, and the one that is really the littlest, but the biggest gigabyte, because um, there's like three different ones of just this, but it was CT2K16G. 4 S F R A 266 and I bought the 32 gigabyte kit you can buy them individual I bought off this brand because I trust this brand or Kingston's a good brand because they got lifetime warranty but uh yeah it worked thanks for watching